What old video games do you still play regularly? Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Lol I still play Eurus Revenge like once a week. Pretty sure there's still an online community, but I usually just play Skirmish. Fellow Skirmisher here. I recently checked out the mod Mental Omega after hearing about it for so long. It is excellent, if you want to change it up after a couple of decades of vanilla Yuri's Revenge. Roller Coaster Tycoon. The OG 1999 one. It stands up really well gamma play wise. Also RCT2 with the open RCT2 mod. But the original has never lost its fun charm. In case somebody scrolls by and doesn't know this. Open RCT2 has multiplayer. Had some good times playing with a friend. Worms. This blew up. Simple stupid awesome game. Such a good game to play with a few people round. Always causes a few friendly arguments. Playing the wind with an impossible banana bomb throw. Taking out half their team in one hit. Love it. Ratchet and Clank. I've been playing through again recently, and I can't think of any game that's just as plain fun to play. I also recently learned that doing flips in front of the hoverboard girl in Blackwater City will make her tits grow. There are a lot of interesting things like that. In Blackwater City, if you go near Cork's trailer, and go behind, and glitch through the wall, decoy glove, you will see Cork with his arms out. The Sims 2. Everything about it is perfect to me. The music especially. It has a goofiness and warmth we don't see much these days. And the modding community is quite active too. I play through the Baldur's Gate series every year or two. It's still my favorite series of all time. Was looking for this. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 were some of my earliest exposures to the medieval fantasy genre and rose tinted glasses but damned. They still hold up. John Irenicus is among the best villains in gaming. Ah oh man. I had to scroll too much to find this. BG is and always will be the most nostalgic game ever for me. Go for the eyes. Boo. Geo for the eyes. Every hamster. Has his day. 007. Nightfire. Oh man. My buddies and I used to play the multiplayer all night. Setting all the bots as Yakuza. And laughing our asses off. When they would get stuck running into a wall. Camping on the ski lifts on that snow. Resort map with a sniper. Good times. This map is iconic to me. I think about it often. Want to hook up the PS2 just for that map. Tetris. Just got into Tetris 99. The battle royale system is terrifying but addictive. Tetris 99 is my favorite game on the Switch. I have nearly 1000 hours on it already. Still haven't won a battle royale lol. The Simpsons hit and run. I'm soaring like a candy wrapper in an updraft. I've said that sucks and blows for years and finally realized I got it from this game like a year ago. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Me and a friend of mine still meet and have showdowns two or three times a year. Can't get enough of this game. Highly recommend Jebus Cross, play simultaneously, and Horn of the Abyss mod. The original fable. Hero. Your health is low. Do you have any potions? Or food? Try to get your combat multiplier even higher. I remember doing the Betty Baldy quest. Then cornering the guy as he tried to run away. And pummeling him until the guild master shut up for good about trying to get a higher combat multiplier. Portal. Hell yeah man. The Portal games are so replayable. Especially the first one. I could beat Portal 1 a thousand times. And not get bored of it. Portal 1 was a masterpiece in every sense. It's the only game I ever have, and probably ever will speedrun. About 20 minutes is my record. And I know that's not even close to some of the runs people have but it make me happy. GTA Vice City. Fucking classic. We are further away in time from the date of Vice City's release than Vice City was from the date of its story. Until recently Age of Empires 2nd. Only reason I stopped was because I switched to Definitive Edition when it came out. Oh man. Age of Mythology was my ship. Clicks on Greek unit. Prostagma? Apostrophe. Diablo 2nd. Stay a while and listen. Greeting stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind around here. Sinan Reyes. I sometimes love to play it and drive around the city and cry for the old days. Isn't it funny how every time you start a new game, when CJ is coming back to the hood, to start the main story, you the player are also coming back to the hood. The old alleyways and shortcuts. 
The old Cluckenbell you threw up in. The old park where the drive-by happened. The graphics will get old. But the story never will. CJ is in his 50s 60s in 2020. Hope he still ain't a buster. More rewind. That off the one th The main theme, piano version, was our wedding walls. That say door cable. And I say that as a person who played the game back in the early zeros. Colon close bracket. Super Mario 64. Now I have the castle music stuck in my head. Yahoo. Yahoo. Speedrunners be like yeah. My friend always gets the N64 out on his birthday. We play Goldeney, Bomberman 64 and sometimes Mario Kart. Does once a year count as regularly? Oh. And every now and then I'll dig out mine and play Pokemon Snap. I've always felt this was a massively underloved game. I bet ITD be amazing with modern graphics and game engines. Maybe they could even have a course creator mode where people could submit their own routes. Edit. Apparently Pokemon Snap 2 is in the works. Guess I'm buying a Switch. They are making Pokemon Snap 2 ATM apparently. We I Sports Resort. Edit. It makes me super happy to see this many people still play Wii I Sports Resort once in a while. My friends and I got so much mileage out of this one. The Secret of Monkey Island. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Apostrophe. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Apostrophe. I'm rubber. You are glue. Im shaking. Comma. Im shaking. Runescape. I got back into old school like 2 years ago when I heard they released it on mobile and now I'm 3200 hours deep and have 7 skill capes. And I can't remember the last time I played a video game that wasn't OSRS. Dude I swore off RuneScape forever. Until it hit iOS. Then I jumped back into it. Made an iron. And never looked back lol. Cheers. You never truly quit RuneScape. You just take breaks of different lengths. This is the second time I've seen this comment in the last couple of days. Starting to think it's a sign. Crash Bandicoot. Edit. Thank you for the awards. It's my first time. The original trilogy is great as a whole. But Warped is a true masterpiece. Also, I believe that Crash Team Racing was better and more innovative in its time than Mario Kart. And I loved Crash Bash. Perfect party game. Same. Absolutely adored Crash Bash. My favorite was a particular mode where you are in space, and you can throw bombs on the floor, which destroys the tile, causing your opponent to fall through the floor and die. Yoshi's Island is fantastic. Just started playing it last year. I would always put it off, because I thought that baby Mario's crying would be too obnoxious to deal with. Big mistake. The game is great. Minus Weeper. Classic. It's a shame it's not a default game on Windows anymore. I used to play it on the school computers. Quake. Doom. Starcraft. I just got the Og Doom for my Switch a few days ago and played a bit with my sister. It's a nice walk down memory lane. Space Pinball on Windows. Where can I get that game? I used to play it on XP. But I haven't been able to find it for years. Sid Meier's Pirates. I wish they'd do a remake of this. It's such a solid game. Battlefront 2. Original. Edit. Didn't expect this to blow up like it did. Thank you all for the awards. And for sharing your history slash experiences with the game. We've captured another command post. Keep it up. Cotter. It's on iOS now. So you can play mobile. Still the two best Star Wars games of all time. Sad that they put a stop to the fan remake. The trailers looked amazing. Wait. What? Little Big Planet. That game is so nostalgic. I recommend those who haven't played it to definitely do so. Oh. And Raymond. That game is incredibly fun. D. Little Big Planet on Aesthetic alone is one of my top 5 favorite games of all time. The platforming just elevates it. And the community content is to king good like. Really wish 3 Lebanese pounds had been more polished. Some game breaking bugs in the story that never got fixed. And the scope of the different characters and content got a little too broad for me. Certainly more possibilities with community content, but it felt diluted overall. My PS3 shipped the bed a couple of years ago, so I haven't played the first one in ages. Assassin's Creed 2 I love everything about it. It could also be Halo Reach for me. 
I only started playing video games this year, and so far I played Act 1. Act 2 and currently playing Brotherhood. But now that I got new laptop I can play almost every assassin, but still will go one by one. Several Pokemon games. Total Annihilation. KO2R second. I did not expect to see Total Annihilation. One of the greatest games of all time to me, and one of the only old games I still play. Armor Core? Core all the way. Although I have to admit I don't boot up TAR too much these days I still will check it out occasionally. I was wondering if someone would come up with it in the list though. Fallout NV. Feels like I always find something new. I feel the same way about Fallout 3. I had to know how things would play out if I chose to side with Megaton or not. And then whether to side with Tenpenny or the gals. Etc. I probably have played the game maybe 4 or 5 times which is a lot for me. Would now be a good time to make you aware of the tale of 2 Wastelands mod that combines all of FO3 with NV. N64 games. Goldeny. Pokemon Snap. Stadium. Banjo-Kazooie. DK64. And Ocarina of Time. Banjo-Kazooie and 2E are my favorite ever games. I'm not a big gamer, but I 100% back and still to finish 2E. I regularly play both for 10 minute blasts. In that time I can get a load of notes and maybe a jiggy. Well, I'm about due for another playthrough of the Mass Effect trilogy. Maybe wait and see if that remaster happens in the fall as rumored. I definitely want to play it. Here's hoping. Lots of rumors last week, but it's calmed down now. With Andromeda and Anthem. Both bombing. They need to do something like this to get fans back before they release something else. Dragon Age I presume. All the Zelda games. Final Fantasy Tactics. Favorite all time game. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. One is my preferred split screen with friends. Various other SNES games. Edit. Okay you all convinced me to replay Tactics. I'm gonna try streaming it too. Not really my jam. But why not. Close bracket. I always say that Battlefront 2 was the best game I've ever played. As a kid back then. 100 vs 100 all our total war in the Star Wars universe was everything I had ever dreamed of. Age of Empires 2. Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. I am so sad that I had to scroll so far to see a Roller Coaster Tycoon game mentioned. Pokemon Emerald, GBA, and Star Fox Adventures, GameCube. I'm a sucker for older, early 2000s, Nintendo games. Edit, Eeyoh it's so awesome to see so much Pokemon Emerald and SF Adventures love. Pokemon Emerald was the first game I ever saved up for and bought with my own money I was in 5th grade. Star Fox Adventures was gifted to me along with a used GameCube my dad found at a market for like $50 back in 2005 ish. Greatest day of my life lol. I just completed Leaf Green last week. Was really fun. I had Fire Red and it was such a blast being able to explore the islands after the main story. Left 4 Dead. Mario Kart Way I. This one is my favorite. I enjoy 8 for the new graphics and creative map designs. But the Wii is the best for me. I loved it. The soundtrack is perfect too. Maybe just nostalgia. Maybe it really is that good. Age of Mythology. Road Rash. Duck Biff. If every couple years counts as regularly, then Bioshock and Bioshock 2. Just bought the collection for PS4. I played them back on PS3 all the time. But never got around to the DLCs for Minerva's Den or Bayes. Looking forward to going through them again. Team Fortress 2. Doc. Mourn Man. Hoot Dispenser here. Eric in a Dispenser. Exclamation mark. Perfect Dark. Minecraft is 11 years old. So I guess that. I'd also keep playing more Gen 3 Pokemon games. But no internet connectivity makes it a moot point for me. Hope Gen 4 gets a remake soon. Mega Man X. I have yearly playthroughs of Ocarina of Time. A link to the past and Chrono Trigger and I haven't gotten bored of them after all these years. A link to the past was probably the first game I ever beat. Or perhaps Super Metroid. Same for me. I loved Super Metroid. Should probably play that again soon. Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. It's a perfect game. It's still my favorite game for Wii, and so therapeutic, 
just to pick up the minikits. Even though the blue ones are a bit of a chore. Half-Life 2 not that old but still platinum. Isn't it 15 years old? Released 16th November 2004. Same age as my Steam account. Having waited for it since Christmas 1998 when we got the original Half-Life. Super Metroid, SNES Emulator, Duke 3D, FF7 and 8, Hogs of War, Age of Empires 2, Heroes of Might, and Magic 2 and 3. Edit, there has been a lot of love for Hogs of War. Please check out our slash hog software to show some love for the game. Heroes of Might, and Magic 3 complete. My friend and I still play it, and it still stands up. The only place where Monday is the happiest day of the week. Paper Mario and Paper Mario TTYD. Skate 3 if that counts lol. If not judge the heritage for the future. Skate 3 is 10 years old, so it say it counts. Dragon Age Origins. Deers of War 2. Final Fantasy X. Ocarina of Time. Kingdom Hearts 1. Edit, adding the last two games. Luigi's Mansion. Symphony of the Night. Neopets. Every time someone mentions Neopets I can't help but think of my yellow jub jub sitting in his unfinished house made out of jelly, silver and gold reading his one and only book about the large jub jub, abandoned forever. Populous, the beginning. Still a brilliant game. Knights of the Old Republic 2. I replay Epic Mickey every December. I don't know why but it just puts me in a holiday spirit. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Fallout 2. I play Halo on my Ogs box every now and then but I mostly play the older Mario games. I'm considering playing Halo. Is it good? The best. Do play. Seriously. Halo. Combat Evolved. Especially the silent cartographer level. True masterpiece. I'm a sucker for Final Fantasy 7 and 8. Edit, I fell asleep right after posting this, and then had work, so I couldn't really be active in the replies lol. It makes me really happy seeing the amount of love for FFVIII. I'll be picking up 6th and 9th, after I finish my current playthrough of 7 on PC, because those seem to be highly recommended lol. SSX Tricky in Star Wars, Battlefront 2, PS2 Classics, Starcraft. I've been playing SC2 for 10 years fairly consistently, SC1 and BW before that. There are so many great modes that keep things interesting. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Practically grown up with it. GTA 3. I know this place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up. So you better drive brother. Chrono Trigger. There's a game in works that's like a mix of cross code, movement, and chrono trigger, combat. Can't for the life of me remember the name though. Skyrim. Some people never stopped even after almost a decade. And I'm one of them. Same. Just restarted a lot play throughout this weekend. Caesar 3 of course. Still amazing. Marvel vs Capcom 2. It's Marvel baby. Classic WoW. W. Cool math games. Moro Wind. Yearly playthrough is a must. Dark Cloud 2. Love it man. Great game. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 1 and 2. I could play them blindfolded these days. Stronghold. Super Mario Bros. 3. Scrolled one RI too far down to find the first name's original Northeast's game. Guess not many play the Northeast's these days. Super Metroid. Ratchet and Clank 3. Still my fav game after all these years. Galaga. Super Mario RPG. I play it at least once a year. Sonic 2. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Pokemon Furred. Paper Mario and PM. Thousand Year Door. Mario Party 2. 4. 6. Mega Man slash Mega Man X slash Mega Man Zero series. Panel Depon. Mario 3 and World. Probably a ton more. Maximum Pain. First two games. Maple Story. Halo 3. Forever and Always. Spore. Is it old enough? Super Mario 3. Donkey Kong Country. Bubble Bubble. 
some city for forever, with an arm mod of course, still the best true city builder in my opinion. Dawn of War, I miss the RTS era. Mountain Blade, Warband. Solitaire. Doom. Harvest Moon on GBA, the Stardew Valley prequel. Seas 1, 6 and also GTA San Andreas. Mario Party on N64, literally every weekend. The mini games make excellent drinking games. I still boot up the old Tekken games every now and again. Especially 2. Wii Esports. Regular enough to say regularly. Mainly tennis as well. The nostalgia is sometimes blinding even going into the Wii. First game console and game. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.